Let's say you think of an interesting and unique topic to talk about, whether it be a person, franchise, or a popular item. You decide to make a video talking about it, and post it to YouTube on a brand new account, not in hopes for a shot of being a famous content creator, but as a passion project. You press upload, go to sleep after your hard work, and wake up. To see that the video has gained a huge amount of interaction, thousands of likes, hundreds of new subscribers, and most notably, a hell of a lot of views. But why has this happened for so many of these beginner channels making these type of videos? Were they just lucky? Or is there something deeper to this than we may think? What makes a YouTube video go viral? And why does this new format of entertaining documentaries perform so well in the algorithm? You may think it relies on a consistently active channel posting every day and reminding their audience to like and subscribe, encouraging the algorithm to push the content into other viewers' feeds. However, this was a typical strategy used by the masses in the early days of YouTube, as back then not many creators took into consideration that the watch time, viewer retention, and a catchy thumbnail and title equate to a strong performance. Fast forwarding through YouTube's errors such as Let's Plays, parody songs, vlogs, and more noticeably, challenge videos. You'll notice that the platform relies on trends and popular topics that achieve virality amongst other creators. And I think it is really interesting to watch like that, like the evolution of people's, I guess, brands? Because these are basically brands, right? But when it's a brand controlled by one person and it's fully a result of their creative endeavors, it's really interesting. One YouTuber in particular seems to be the culprit for the current trend in docutainment. Sunny V2, as you may know, has popularized the video format we are seeing often today, combining a documentary style delivery alongside flashy and entertaining graphics, posting the first of this type of media on the 9th of March 2020, titled Boogie2988, the worst mindset on YouTube, in which garnering a massive inflow of views with people applauding Sunny in the comments for the entertaining video style. This was a change from his previously released content as it originally consisted of daily Fortnite live streams, but as he reiterated in a now deleted upload titled How to Make a Video Go Viral, consistency was far from the most important factor to a video's success. What makes these docutainment videos so popular is that they cover an interesting topic in depth letting audiences get a better understanding and new knowledge from the video. People, in general, like learning new things, and when presented in the video essay format, it engages people's interest whilst allowing them to understand more about the topic being spoken about. Sunny V2 has grown massively, to where he now has over 3 million subscribers, continuing to make entertaining content, and inspiring new content creators to make their own documentary videos. And with that, a new generation of highly edited content preaching a variety of topics was born, Having creators discuss all forms of media, whether it be how the pilot of Smiling Friends is considered perfect, or even a deep dive into the vast library of games Steam has with zero active players. A few existing content creators seem to have taken advantage of the new format of video essay, such as Patrick CC, shifting his content to document topics about previous figures in media. Whilst documentainment content is on a rise, the platform is starting to feel oversaturated by the majority of people replicating this format. Not to discredit their efforts, but with the amount of people attempting to inform people about a topic, a few are bound to incorrectly mention some details about a given subject. As for the creator of the subgenre himself, Sunny V2 published a video titled Why Dream's Face Reveal Was An Awful Decision, in which informing his audience why Dream made a mistake of taking off the mask. Yet it seems a few people disagree with this statement, and this was done in more of an attempt to clickbait the popular content creator's name, claiming Dream's face reveal had no impact on his channel. This is one of the reasons that I think it becomes detrimental to and blindingly clear within Sonny's videos that he is incredibly view hungry. Not everything has to be about getting the most views on something or garnering the most attention or staying the most relevant you could ever be. If you're scared for your safety or otherwise, you should be able to make a decision to face reveal without people being like, oh, you're gonna get less views, you're not relevant anymore. And I feel like it just comes across as Sunny caring too much about views to actually acknowledge that there was a problem with what was happening to Dream and how rabid his fanbase was. Sunny V2 has seemingly begun to excessively use this video format in all instances possible, featuring every video currently uploaded to his channel displaying this trend including some uploads that begin to make the documentation genre seem more of a joke, rather than an intriguing and informative video essay. Failed franchises, bankruptcies, and almost no growth in revenue for the last 10 years. This is the sad reality for Pizza Hut. People seeming to easily replicate this form of content goes to show with hard work and research, 
can lead to another channel for a viewer to look out for when deciding what to watch with their dinner. I say this with full belief as I myself have created a documentary about the content creator Tumad, which has provided me a wave of new subscribers as well as an outstanding amount of support. Some creators are bound to bask in their success, becoming well-established channels for future generations to enjoy, and some will be forgotten or abandoned with little content to their name. The future of YouTube is yet to be seen, with new CEO Neil Mohan controlling the reins, known for implementing the idea of NFTs supposedly expanding the YouTube ecosystem, which as of 2023 still seems it would have been a bad idea, as the whole of online financing, such as cryptocurrency, has gradually decreased in popularity and value. For the minute, however, I'm going to continue enjoying these small content creators produce unique video ideas, and let time tell us about the YouTube content creation journey ahead. If you've liked this video documentary about video documentaries, be sure to like the video. And make sure to subscribe for more content in the future. Take care and peace.